All right, hello everyone. Today we are gonna be doing a demonstration. Uh, it's called Cool Reaction. So, gotta get my safety goggles on and we're gonna get started. All right. All right, so like mentioned, we're doing a Cool Reaction lab. So here I got my little tiny flask. And first thing I'm gonna put in is some barium hydroxide, okay? So I already pre-measured it out. I have it right here. So I'm gonna put this into the cute little tiny flask. Okay, the second thing I'm going to add is something called ammonium thiocyanate. So I already pre-measured that one out as well. And I'm going to go ahead and pour that in. Don't follow my example and touch it. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to kind of shove it down there a little bit. Okay. So before I go ahead and mix it, I'm going to place a thermometer in there so you can kind of see the temperature. So right now it's currently at about 20 degrees Celsius. So that's about room temperature-ish. And I also have this little cap here I put some water on. And you'll see why I did that in just a moment. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and start mixing this. So pay attention what's happening. So I'm mixing my barium hydroxide, my ammonium thiocyanate. So I'm just going to mix those nice and good together. We can already see my temperature has dropped a lot, like really fast. Remember how it said 20? And now it is uh, about negative 10 degrees. So that's exciting. Really fast reaction. I'm actually going to put this on top of my water. Move this. So what do we start to notice is that it turns into a liquid. It almost looks like a slushy. Okay. So my temperature, oh my gosh, has dropped below what it says. So it's below 10, negative 10 degrees Celsius. And it's going to just keep on dropping and dropping. So if you remember, zero is freezing. So it's well below freezing. It's actually going to get to about negative 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, so we can see that happening. It's below that. It's probably at, what, negative 20 degrees right now. So we're just going to let that sit for a second. And if you touch it, it's like really, really, really cold. cold. Super cold. And remember, it's turned quite into a liquid now. You, they were two solids before. Now we just have a liquid that has formed. So one of the things that I'm making... Um, or I guess one of the uh, react or products, sorry, that's the word I'm thinking of, um, is ammonia. So it actually smells pretty bad. You guys can't really smell it, but it's definitely not the most pleasant smell I've ever uh, smelled in my life. Another byproduct is water, so that's why it's gotten so liquidy. So we're gonna give this a little bit of time um, to fully do its thing and then see what happens. Okay, so as we know, it's super cold. I only, pff, what, a couple minutes um, has passed. So remember how I put water on this plastic? There's a reason I did that. So let's see. Oh, look, it froze the water. Okay, so if you look closely, you'll see there's ice crystals that the water has uh, totally crystallized. So this is what we call an endothermic reaction. So it is losing a lot of heat and it's like really, really cold. So there you go, cool reaction, pretty cool. All right guys, so I've let this sit for, um, I don't know, about five minutes now after it totally froze and you can already see it sliding around. Yeah, the water is no longer frozen and the temperature has been raising back up again. So now it's about five degrees Celsius and it will continue to increase as this reaction um, is completed. So it's, it can change back and forth. 